What's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the Yeezy Quantum. This is the Onyx colorway. Uh, before I go over the review of the shoes and show you the sneakers and stuff, if you are new to my channel and this is your first time, just, just kind of stumbling across a video on, on my channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Thank you for taking out some time to be here to check out one of my videos. But look, while I have you here, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell for me. That way, when I upload new material, I post new content or anything like that, you'll get a notification. You can head to the channel. You can check out the latest video that I uploaded for you guys. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm at IMTMCII. So give me a follow if you're on social media. And um, lastly, hit the thumbs up. It's an indicator really to me. Let me know that you enjoy the content. Uh, motivates me to wanna keep taking out time to record these videos whenever I have a pickup. Uh, so go ahead, hit that thumbs up, man. It really goes a long way. All right, so not the intros out of the way. Gotta do that to welcome uh, my new subscribers or possibly new subscribers and followers. So um, let's show you guys the shoe. So this is the, the Quantum. So this is the lifestyle version. Uh, the basketball version usually has a little bit more uh, it has like usually this this rubber overlays over this part and the 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 ankle area is a little bit more supported. It's not that much more supported, um, but this is regular lifestyle version and this is the, the Onyx colorway. So for when I first started seeing pics of these, I uh, heard rumors that there'd be a, a black quantum coming out. I was like, yeah, I want to I want to grab it because I actually like this model. And, you know, for a while they were, you know, Yeezy and Adidas had been flooding us with so many 350 v2 silhouettes so it was just like a breath of fresh air once we started getting some different silhouettes from adidas and kanye and um like i said ever since the first uh the first uh quantum colorway came out i was a fan of the silhouette um so here you guys go man show you guys the material that they use so it's like a so you come into the toe box first it's like a a, a, a new buck it's not really a, a suede i'm not sure it's like a rough a rough new buck a dura buck on the toe box right here it has a little stroke pattern to it when i stroke it with my with my thumb you can see that you know it's kind of changed colors a little bit um and then coming to this is like a little like nylon almost like a thick thick nylon um and you got these same laces so there's one thing about the yeezy basketball and the quantum that i really don't care too much for when you lace these all the way up to this top lace hole. Uh, when you're wearing the shoe, the laces, they some they sometimes they come up above that and it's just, you know, hits across your leg. And I'll show you guys that when I toss these on feet. By the way, I'm gonna do an on feet uh, portion of the video. So y'all just hang tight to the end and you can check out the on feet and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I think the way the lacing they did on these is they probably made the, the tongue a little bit too short. They should have added a little bit more height to the tongue move this top lace hole down because if you don't put it in this lace hole then the laces are, are too long so i don't know it's just just a pretty weird thing uh coming to here is like this little see-through mesh for breathability and all this is actually 3m I'm show you guys a picture of that really quick so you have all the 3m texture and stuff behind the the, the, the netting and on the heel cap it's a really, it's an odd looking shoe. It's simplistic, but I like it. And it's extremely comfortable too. And I cover comfort and sizing, like I mentioned on the on foot portion of the video. Um, it has Boost, as you guys can see. Boost is still like one of the most comfortable technologies uh, to, to, to come out in the past several years. It's really, really extremely comfortable technology. So um, this is almost it, man. It's not too, too much to go over for the shoe. In the insole, you have that Yeezy branding in the insole. You have Yeezy and Adidas. And I think both shoes are the exact same. Um, I'll show you guys the box and stuff also, uh, making sure I'm capturing everything. So this is pretty much it. And you have this, um, this kind of stretches for when you're putting your foot in the shoe so it could stretch so it's easy to put on. Uh, for its quality control goes, so it's rare that I have quality issues with Adidas products. Not as much as I have issues with like Nike and Jordan brand, but there are, but these being black, you can see a ton of glue marks on here. And I think the Quantum is like that. The Quantum and the basketball, that's one silhouette from Adidas where you can see a lot of the glue stains for where they gluing 
parts and pieces of the shoe together. So if you look like on, on this toe cap, and I, like I said, with it being a dark colorway, you know, that, that the glue marks are really, really standing out a lot on here. So even here, um, like this is glue on here. So like I said, it's, it's really rare that I have issues with quality control when it comes to Yeezys and Adidas, but I have noticed that my Yeezy basketballs and my Quantums, um, of all the Yeezys that I have, these have like the most quality control issues and concerns to me. Um, but that's probably it, it's just a glue mark. I don't have any perfections or scuffs or stains on anything else. Uh, just like a lot of glue stains for where they glued the, uh, you know, sections of the shoe together. So it's a little disappointing, but it is what it is now at this point. We're never gonna get flawless sneakers from any of these sneaker brands. So uh, you have this little tag on here too. And this comes on pretty much majority of your, your sneakers, these little tags. Uh, just if you're curious, you could scan that, look at sizing and all that other stuff. Uh, it's on the left shoe if you're doing this for a comparison to see, you know, if you're buying these aftermarket to make sure you got a uh, legit pair or not. Because I got these off the confirmed app. Seemed like a lot of people didn't want them because uh, they're actually still sitting on some sites right now and can still grab them. Uh, you got Quantum written on the front. Like I said, there is boost technology. So whenever there's a boost inside any of the Yeezys, they usually toss boost somewhere on the box. It's a regular draw style box that you normally get with your Adidas uh, Yeezys, that same kind of cardboard look. And here's the colorway, Onyx, Onyx, Onyx. And one thing I don't know why Adidas and Yeezy, they don't put the, all the colorways because this is multiple colors on here. Like if you guys can see, you know, I'm not sure if the Onyx is just black or if it's like this charcoal color, but you know, you got different colors on here. So I don't know why they don't put all the different colors on the box. Um, that's just something that they just never did. But here's the box. Show you guys the kicks one more time. Uh, like I mentioned, man, if if you um, enjoyed the video, leave me a comment. Cause I usually reply back to you guys when you guys leave comments. If I don't reply like to exactly what you said to me, I'm gonna hit the thumbs up or the heart button next to your comment just to let you know that, hey, I saw your comment. So let me know what you think of these. Um, if you're a fan of this silhouette um, or this particular colorway, I'm just curious to hear what you guys think about these. Uh, let's, so let's talk down in the comment section. So I'm gonna take them off here now. I'm gonna toss them on feet. Also um, show you guys what they look like on feet. So, uh, you guys hang tight for a second. I'm gonna toss these on feet, making sure I show you guys all angles and everything of the shoe before I take them off here. But let's take them off, toss them on feet, show you what they look like. All right, guys. So here's a quick on feet look at your Onyx uh, Yeezy Quantums. Just wanna show you guys what they look like really quick on feet. Uh, so first thing I cover is sizing for you guys. Usually one of my most asked questions uh, for me, I have like a medium to a narrow width foot and I prefer a snug exact fit for my sneakers. I don't think my feet are doing any growing. So I usually try and go for like a snug fit and I recommend going true to size in these. Uh, I wouldn't size down in these at all. I think it'll be too, too exact and too snug of a fit. Uh, but if you don't like that snug fit like I do, I think you can go up a half size and you'll be able to accomplish that feel. Uh, if you have wide feet though, and you want a snug fit, um, I, I probably will go up a half size. Uh, up a half size if you have wide feet. And I think either for that snug fit or even with a little bit of room, I think I would probably go up a half size if you're one of those people with, with wide feet. Uh, I don't think true to size would be the, the, the move for you at all in these if you have wide feet. Uh, for as comfort goes, these are extremely comfortable, guys. Uh, it's just like any Yeezy, especially the ones with Boost in them. It's a really, really squishy, uh, comfortable shoe. And like I said, this is the lifestyle version. Um, so I, you can really rock these all day long and not be in any kind of pain. It's a really, really comfortable shoe. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier, like one thing I don't like is, uh, you know, as you start walking, because of where this top lace hole is, this eventually comes up and you know if you when if you're not wearing socks that come up you know this is just start rubbing against your foot when you're walking i don't like 
how the tongue isn't tall enough. It's, it's not tall in height, so it just kind of kind of sucks. Seemed like they went with too low of a tongue for these. Um, just one little gripe, but one thing I would change if I was part of the design on these. But here you guys go, man. I won't keep you any much longer. I just want to show you what they look like on feet. Thank you guys for taking out some time. As I mentioned earlier, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.